KG Price defiantly flashes one of those 52 texts from Chris Hughes after screaming at him at ITV Gala. KG Price proved she won't let sleeping dogs lie as she defiantly flashed an image of one of the supposed 52 text message screenshots she received from Chris Hughes on Thursday night. The 39-year-old made no mention of their feud during the ITV gala, which was also attended by Love Island star Chris and his girlfriend Olivia Atwood. Instead, she chose to coyly expose one of the texts she claimed was sent by the 24-year-old. Katie, who is also claimed to have screamed at Chris when inside the event, revealed a screenshot she claims he sent when departing the bash just hours after she posed for a shock snap with her nemesis, Olivia. In an image obtained by The Sun, Katie is pictured cozying up to Olivia, as well as Linda Robson and Stacey Solomon, as they shared a group snap from inside the event, which seems a little surprising, given the feud. However, tensions still seem to be high as Katie left the bash as she showcased the screen of her phone, which depicted one of the screenshots she claims was sent by Chris. It appeared to read, Oh no why are you having a hard time? Are you okay? Anything I can help with XX? Just personal stuff XX something I don't want to bother you. The message, which was sent by the username Chris Hughes, said. Stuff with work? Olivia? I'm good at giving advice, Katie retorted. The user, who Chris has claimed is somebody pretending to be him, then responds, Olivia just loves all the media attention and me personally hate it sometimes it's too much. Representatives for both Chris and Katie declined to comment. It was claimed that the mother of five also screamed text messages at Chris when he and Kim arrived on stage with their hit single, Little Bit Leave It, playing in the background. A source told The Sun, Katie clearly had other ideas about their big moment because as soon Chris started speaking, she shouted text messages at him twice. The room which was full of some of the biggest names in TV and top ITV producers went completely silent and they started shifting awkwardly in their seats. Just when everyone thought the incredibly awkward moment was over, Katie shouted it again. At this point Chris went as white as a sheet, because everyone could clearly hear what Katie was shouting. Their insider alleges that the move seriously upset his girlfriend Olivia, who was later comforted by Gemma Collins. Reality star Chris has already blasted Katie's text message claims and, in a lengthy rant last month, he accused her of also threatening his girlfriend Olivia and begged her to get her head out of her asterisk asterisk here and leave him alone. He shared in a lengthy appeal note to fans, Katie Price get your head out of your asterisk asterisk here and focus on your own life, your children and stop harassing myself and Olivia. The reality star then posted a number of screenshots of Katie's flirty texts last, which saw the star ask him to meet up and to keep her messages to him, Trevor. He slammed, I outed you because that's what I do when I get accused lying or being told I'm not telling the truth. I have no shame or embarrassment showing those messages you sent me. I have no regret either so just accept that someone stood up to you and called you out on it. You're making up lies you've lived your life through for years. Focus on yourself. I couldn't care about you in the slightest. He continued in an equally brutal fashion. You've showed your true colors. Go away. Make up as asterisk asterisk t about me. Show everyone these bulls asterisk asterisk t messages you've created. It came as Olivia and Chris put on a united front as they packed on the PDA while departing the star-studded bash. The couple were pictured getting seriously steamy as they left the event, with the blonde wrapping her arms around Chris' neck and leaning in for a smooch. It's claimed the pair were among the last to arrive on last night's red carpet, seemingly in a bid to avoid their rival Katie, who recently revealed she has served Chris with legal letters. She recently told Fabulous Magazine he's been given legal letters, but what I will say is they are not well liked on the circuit. Katie has slammed the Love Island star for his denial of the sent messages, venting her frustrations that he was trying to make her look mental.
She also detailed his alleged texts further as she spoke to OK Magazine, claiming that he was slagging off his girlfriend Olivia. Talking about the situation, Katie admitted, All I know is someone who's parading around about mental health and he's trying to make out I'm mad, saying that he hasn't sent me messages, it's like pot kettle. While the star has so far decided to keep the screen shots to herself, she did reveal them to this morning's host through Langsford and Neman Holmes last month. Slamming the Gloucestershire native as Imager, she asked Ruth, What have I just shown you before I came on now? I'm not lying. Ruth then confirmed, You showed us a lot of texts from Chris to you on your phone. Amon interrupted, Could I just say, as a man, what I saw were a lot of texts. I didn't see inappropriate texts. No, but he's denying texting at all, snap truth. No, well, there are a lot of texts. Well, someone is certainly using his name, anyway, added Amon. Olivia has vehemently stated that she believes Chris didn't send the messages in question because they haven't been sent from his actual Snapchat username. She told OK. Magazine previously, apparently Katie hasn't shown any messages that of his actual username on them. They all just have his display name on them. Chris then added, she said that I sent the messages on Snapchat and while you can't change your actual username on Snapchat, you can edit your display name. All someone has to do is go into their settings and change the name to look like the messages I from me. Nevertheless, Chris and Olivia seemed to brush off the drama as they exchanged a steamy kiss while exiting the party. Pulling out all the stops for the occasion, Olivia flashed her nude underwear in the sizzling jumpsuit which featured delicate all over lace embroidery. Chris also dressed to impress, donning a geometric print suit, offset with a black shirt. In a recent exclusive interview with Mail Online, Chris confessed to overcoming barriers in his relationship but now reveals marriage is on the cards. He said, Our love is strong. I feel like we get stronger each day. We've overcome barriers here and there, which is natural in a relationship. We were kind of obsessed with each other so it's gone from strength to strength. We loved each other in the villa, but now we're in love so it's switched it up a bit. The lovebirds moved in together a week after they left the villa in third place. In early October, Chris and Olivia appeared to go on a break when the television hunk exposed a number of flirtatious texts from Katie on social media. While he denied responding, pin up, Katie hit back and claimed to have 52 screenshots of his equally raunchy replies. But reality star Chris is keen to put the dispute behind him, saying he is ready to take the next step with Olivia. He explained, at the end of next year I'm going to get married. I don't know when I'm going to propose. I want a kid at the end of next year as well. I'll be 25 by then, just before my 26th birthday next year, and when my kid is about 15 I'll be 40. Meanwhile, last night's event saw them reunited with a flurry of their Love Island co-stars, including Amber Davis and Kemsey Tinney, both 21.